as the sun sets over the Santa Monica Mountains. And the moon is aglow on the opposite side. Keyword glow. Kind of a hint as to what we're gonna do tonight. Well, hello everybody, welcome to Best Life and Beyond. We are here in Malibu Canyon, yes. Las Virginis Road, Mulholland area. King Gillette Ranch, to be specific. Why, Katie? Because we are at Knights of the Jack. Yes. It's basically a huge, long display of uh, pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. Yes. Um, there's some food. There's a couple of uh, interesting things that we're going to get to see that are exclusive for this year. Yeah, yeah, and um, everything glowing. That's what we kind of yeah. hinted to uh, in the beginning. <laughs> Uh, the glowing moon and glowing jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. So we're really excited. But we're gonna go check it out and I'm sure we're gonna have a good time. All right, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> All right, this is uh, where we check in under this big tent right here. You can see the logo in there. And we need to mention that today, we didn't really think about it, but it is an extremely windy day. There is like power outages all over the well, state of California. Well, there's statewide power shutdowns. Yeah. And uh, of course we picked this night to come to Nights of Jack, but it's not too bad yet. I mean, look, no, so far we're, uh, so we're hoping for, for the best. But it is uh, a little chilly, I'm not gonna lie. Like I have a sweatshirt on, a long sleeve shirt yeah. and a jacket on, <laughs> and I'm still kind of like, woohoo, but I'm also a wimp, so. Yeah, but you're living your best life, it's fine. I am living my best life for sure. We got a cool photo op there, look at that. So when you walk in, there's some there's some merch and some treats. Oh, Candy, it's, it's like they knew I they was They knew you coming. were coming. <gasps> Broadway laces, these are so good. Look I'm at how happy he is, he's like, hee. And you can purchase all these cool glowing items to play with, which is a super good idea. Instead of ears, should I get horns? You already have those. <laughs> yeah, but Naturally. Like, what's on the outside can match the inside. Oh boy. Okay, so Katie uh, decided to uh, purchase the bow. I like the Jack Lantern bow. These are horns, and these felt more like mini. No, I it's think mini would prefer if I got a. Plus, uh, the, I think everybody feels a little more comfortable seeing you with at least just a bow. It looks normal. It feels right. Because sometimes people trip out when you're not wearing anything. Yeah. Um, They're like something's wrong. What's right? Yeah. And then we got these Broadway laces. Oh. These are really good candy. Never had them, but I'm You have excited. it? No. Okay. How tall this fall, Katie? How tall? Katie's coming in at about 5'3 ish. Five three, yeah. yeah. So that's pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. You're about 2 and uh, 1 16th uh, jack o' lanterns high. All right. Yeah. Something like that. So there's a bunch of photo ops. You've got to step and repeat when you walk in with the logo, and then you've got all these photo ops you can stick your faces in, you can be bats, you can be ghosts. You can be part of the witch's brew, Katie. Ooh. This is really cool though, look at this cat. I like the black oh, cat. Wow. He's cool. I like that one. Oh, gosh, He's big too. Yes. <laughs> Full size, look at there's Katie. Is he a puma? That is not a puma. <laughs> Although, they frequent these parts. I thought for sure you were gonna say something about a puma. Let's look at, <laughs> wait. We're gonna get. Chewing my candy. Ooh, that wind's getting. Oh! This is special for this year. This is an Are You Afraid of the Dark uh, display, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, Nickelodeon. Uh, the 90s kid in me is having the best moment ever right now. All right, it's all about you. I am so happy. Take us through. Oh! It's all in here. So these must be some of the episodes we're seeing yep. in here. I was always afraid of the acid man. Hey, look, but there's like funny mirrors in here, look. I know. It's like a, it's like a circus tent. Circus mirrors. Circus Ooh. mirrors. Whoa. This is scary. Look at it. cool, because then they're playing projections on the circus mirrors, which I've never seen that before. Okay, we've queued up at the next tent for Are You Afraid of the Dark? It's probably from the attic in the opening credits. Oh, okay. Creepy little bear. That, that terrible looking clown would look like you're like watching the opening intro and you're like, the clown, it's terrifying. <laughs> you see the skateboard and then the clown. Right, the right. The clown was it. The clown was it? Wait, Pennywise? Oh, sorry. I mean, it was. <laughs> All right, into the next phase. Go for release. You guys are just gonna step on this map, follow the prompt on the screen. Okay. okay. Let's see what... Right. Uh, okay, thank you. Follow I'm, the prompts, Katie. We're just in here by ourselves, by the way. Yeah, we are. Hit start. How many, How many people? people? Two, please. One participant, Enter please enter your birthday so we can. Share an experience that's right okay, so there, Katie puts her mind. birthday in, yes. August. Oh, 
19 if you forgot. <laughs> it's a 1987, so it'll know I grew up doing this. Get ready, nine, eight, seven, six, what is it happening? five, four, three, two, one, action. Whoa. Look, we're in a, we're in a fun house mirror. Look, <laughs> look how weird we look. This is weird. Ah, <laughs> Look at my face. Oh, you're, you're a clown. I'm the clown. Of course. Hop on tonight, guys. You. Appreciate it. So they've got the pumpkin artist actually working and creating right in front of your eyes. It's a real special treat to get to see that. Look at that. Amazing. Look at the detail. You can see his guidelines that he works with. He goes from that rough guideline into this amazing three-dimensional sculpture. Beautiful work. Thank you so much. Uh, pumpkins about three years, but I'm a prop master for the movie industry. Okay, well that explains it. Yeah, that Good explains it. That is, Thank you. That is so awesome. Beautiful stuff, man. Thank you, man. Very inspiring. Thank you. So how do you decide what to do? You just sketch it out and pretty much start going on it. And just go to yeah. town. I have a lot of monsters in my head. <laughs> I love it. That is awesome. Thank you. Really cool. Wow. Follow me on my Instagram. Okay. Oh yeah, let's okay. look, here's his Instagram guys Plastic right there. Design seven. Awesome. Thank you. I'm gonna take a photo yep. so I can remember. Alaska Design Seven guys and check him out for all his pumpkin stuff. And he's a prop master, so he's an artist in general. Wow, that might be my favorite right there. Look at that. He was just telling me that there's over how many? Five thousand? Yeah, about, yeah. about five thousand pumpkins out there, and he did about ten percent, which is about like five hundred. Five hundred. Wow. Of those jack o' lanterns that we're about to see tonight. You're gonna see some silly ones on the ground, but you're gonna see some really intricate ones. Does this monster so, have a name? Not yet. Not if you yet. You want a name? I mean, it's up to you guys. Ah, uh, I don't know. He kind of looks. Hmm. You know what? I wish you guys could smell. It smells like pumpkin over here. Yeah. Like, Fresh yeah. pumpkin and it smells fantastic with this weather. Oh my god. I feel like he's gonna be a Felicia. <laughs> but... <laughs> it's a hit. <laughs> he said we can name him Felicia. <laughs> yes. Look Hi at... Felicia. Hi Felicia. And then when we say bye, we say bye, Felicia. <laughs> Okay, you don't just use one tool. No, no, I use this oh, yeah, knife. he's got all these tools. I use this knife that I borrow from my wife. Oh. And then these clay tools. Ooh. Exacto knife. Oh, the clay tools. Dentist tools. Okay. Even so, a dentistry yeah, tool? That's actually when you go to the little cheap, you know, the little lines. Oh my gosh, this is so intricate. And you have glue too, I see, oh, yeah, and Sharpies. I'm going to put horns, so I'm actually going to glue the. Oh, the wow. Horns. He's gonna be like double leash. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh, double leash it. We're in bed at the same time. Right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, See you that. are quite the artist. Thanks Thank for you. telling us a little Thank about you. this. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye, double leash. We'll see you later. <laughs> Do that. Thank you. What was your first name? Robert. Robert, thank you, Robert. Robert Velasco. Nice meeting you guys. There he is right there. Make sure to follow him and make sure to come see him at Knights of the Jack. Thanks a lot. Psychic reader, a little palm reading happening here at the uh, Knights of the Jack as well. You can get a reading, a tarot card reading. That's pretty cool. You know what's cool? You always used to see the, the palm signs, you know, for, for palm readers. And the palm is always red. You know why? Why? Oh, because it's being red? It's being red. That was good. A whole array of food trucks. Including Pink Taco, Katie's very excited about. Oh, I love Pink Taco, it's so good. There's a spook easy that we're gonna check out for some spirits, some adult beverages, that type of thing. Let's see what they got in here. Awesome menu, specialty cocktails, you got premium spirits, a bunch of beers, craft beers, wine, hot drinks as well. They've got it covered here at the Spook Easy. He gets a special Knights of the Jack glass. Yes, well it's not even glass, it's like recyclable Like tossware. Toss Shatterproof glass. Brilliant. That's great. I love all the, the logo wear. That's, so great. And it looks tasty. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's windy, look at my bow. Oh. All right, Katie has found the giant Connect Four. It's like a wooden version of Connect Four. Look at this. Yes. That is so cool. I already won a few times, but you know. Well, you didn't even tell me that you were playing. They also, guys, have 
There's backgammon. There's giant Jenga, of which somebody already played this game, but they're stacked up over there as well. And Katie, look, they even have cornhole. What? That's right. That? I guess you gotta ask for this. Okay, this might be one of my favorite uh, photo ops. Look at this guy, <laughs> the werewolf. He's oh, so, like he's so fired up. Look at him. He looks like, like you. Yeah, he looks like an old skateboard graphic from the early 90s. He's a classic. Show us that face, Katie. Yep, spinning image. All right, it's time to hit Jack's trail. Here we go. This is what we came for, you guys. Yay! And it's about a mile long, I think. It is. And, and we, uh, went, we end up back here, so. Yep. Uh, so we got to get around this corner up here, and then we'll see. Ooh, I can see a oh bit of a boy. glow ahead in the trees, Already. Katie. Already. Oh, my God. You know what's really cool is that the city that we're in, Calabasas, actually means pumpkin. Calabaza, I believe, is the Something is the like name. Yeah. And the story goes that a rancher way back when dumped his load of pumpkins at the top of one of the hills around here by accident. Uh -huh. And the next year, you know, all the pumpkin seeds uh, sprouted a bunch of pumpkins, and there was a huge pumpkin patch there. So oh, that's the story. And so it's I, it's it's appropriate that it's here in Calabasas that we're celebrating the pumpkin, aka the jack o' lantern. So awesome. Yeah, we are in the land of pumpkins. Yay! And I hear ominous music. I feel like we're getting close. We're going over a bridge right now. Oh, it is a bridge, huh? Oh, we're going over a... You know what? This event is actually really decent price. It's only 27 bucks for adults. And yeah, that's good. For kids. That's way affordable for an evening out. And look at the moon through the trees, you guys. <gasps> oh, spooky. You'd almost think that was put there, placed there, but it's not. This is actually real. Look at this. The lights on the walkway. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, look in the trees. Oh, this was so worth it this already. This worth every penny. Oh my God, I'm so in love. Scarecrows greet you on the left side as you come in. This tree is completely filled with mini jack-o'-lanterns. Look at this. Wow. It's like the Halloween tree at Disneyland times 100. All right, we leave the giant jack-o'-lantern trees and head into this new area. Wow. Look at the color. I love how they've mixed up all the colors. That this is, is so cool. So many different little facial expressions and spookers. There's even a, looks to be a crescent moon back there. I'm really digging this black widow right there. No way. Welcome to Jurassic Park. That is so amazing. Awesome. We gotta stop and look real close here. But the fact that you can see the skeletal structure right? is really neat. Oh my gosh. Hey Triceratops. What you doing over there? It's so detailed. Thinking outside the box on the jack-o'-lanterns, you know what I mean? So crazy. You know what I like is looking backwards. All the jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah, that's really cool. Like, that's just beautiful. It's the father of the Halloween tree over there. And I like that they did all the colors of the trees, like orange and purple, and yeah, it just really adds to the whole like vibe. Yeah, good ambiance. Uh oh. There, he just roared. Big Daddy. Yeah. Uh oh. He's angry. That is T Rex. Is that Indominus Rex, or is that just T Rex? I don't know what that means. It's the one that was added to. Oh, like in uh, Jurassic World. Is yeah, like yeah. Look at the teeth on that thing. Now that's to show the detail. And the rib cage, I mean, it's just, it's Incredible. crazy. Look at the pterodactyl. It's Terry the pterodactyl up there. Hi, Terry. Showing his wings. He's like, hey guys. Oh. We've clearly landed underwater. I love the, uh, the jellyfish, how they're like upside down pumpkins. That is brilliant, yeah. Isn't that awesome? There's so many details. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Is that Crush right there? I think it is. Crush is blowing bubbles. And we literally watched Jaws yesterday. Look, great white shark. Oh my gosh. He's ready for feeding. He's like, give me a pumpkin. <laughs> Look at this octopus that Katie spotted. Oh my gosh. Okay. How creative is that with the pumpkin tentacles? The tentacles are all pumpkins. Wow. Pumpkin shark. And then he's flanked by another great white shark. Those are like his protectors, his boys. And then there's sea turtles, barracudas. 
There's even sea stars and shells in the foreground. We've entered the Coco section, as we're calling it, the Dia de los Muertos. Amazing. This has to be one of the most stunning displays yet. The detail on these sugar skulls is just incredible. Each one unique, different, and then some really stylized versions in the foreground here. Found Jack Skellington. Hey, Jack. <laughs> well, this is Knights of the Jack. Sometimes he had to show up. He's everywhere. This is beautiful. Ooh, this is spooky. This is cool. It's like a graveyard, it feels like. Oh. Very spooky. I like that all of the tombstones all have like interesting names. Like this one's Pearly Gates. Yeah, it's a la Haunted Mansion kind of. Very cool. Yeah, like there's one over there, May Sue. Look at this one, Buried Alive. <laughs> they even put an owl in the tree. I love it. <laughs> Probably my favorite tombstone of the night. No escape. No escape. We've got the Milky Way and the entire universe. And some planets displayed. Looks like Saturn right there. All right, entering uh, kind of a whimsical area by the sound of this music that's playing. Look at that jack o' lantern on that house back there. Look at this. This is like classic monsters. Oh, it's like Universal Monsters? Like there's Dracula, Jason, Werewolf. This is so cool. And of course, Invisible Man. Can't forget him. Pretty cool how that moon is just sitting right above the Knights of the Jack logo. Pretty spooky. Here's a section dedicated to love. Famous couples. All right, we've uh, arrived at the, what I think is the main house of the estate, King Gillette Ranch. Amazing, amazing entry and very well lit for the uh, occasion. All right, Katie's happy because we've arrived in Rodeo Drive. We're in Beverly Hills here. Yeah, Beverly Hills. Oh, look at. She's all glammed out. Can you say Laurent? <laughs> That's funny, all the logos. Christian Dior. Valentino. Go cheat. All right, right next to Beverly Hills, appropriately, is Hollywood. They got the Hollywood sign with a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns and they've set the letters up appropriately. I'm pleased because they don't form a straight line. They are a little crooked based on where the hill lies and how they prop up on the hill there. So very accurate, I'll say. Nice of the jack, very accurate. I just spotted the symbol for pie. Oh yeah, huh? Is that pumpkin pie, Katie? Oh my gosh. That's Thank you very much. Be here all week. Try the veal. There's the detail that I wanted the most. See the blinking light at the top of the hill? Yeah. That is brilliant. They did that? Yeah, that's what's at the top of the uh, Mount Lee, is the, is the mountain that the Hollywood sign is on. Oh, wow. And there's a blinking light at the very top. Did you see the palm trees? Yes. I think those are cool. Very cool palm trees. And behind us, they have like the Walk of Fame. Oh, is this the Walk of Fame over here? Yeah. All right, let's see. There's Meryl Streep and her star, and this guy will make you an offer you can't refuse. Much like the Walk of Fame, there's just a ton of stars to look at. All right, Alice in Wonderland. Look at all the flowers, that is so cool. Beautiful. Caterpillar, mushrooms. Oh, there he is. Smoking caterpillar, there he is, the hookah smoking caterpillar. I like the abstractness of it. And all the toadstools, AKA mushrooms. Look at all those things, that's so cool. Look at the little ladybug right here. I love the ladybug. It's Ladybug Leisha. Oh. So we've got kind of a motorcycle theme going on here. <laughs> there's like a Harley there. Look at, there's a freestyle motocross guy doing a trick right there. And you don't want to forget looking in the foreground. Look, these are all flowers in the foreground. Oh, roses. Roses, okay. <laughs> These guys are great. Look at the guy on the right. <laughs> Those are so great. It's like they're practicing their scares. If I could have anything for Halloween as a decoration, I would want that. That is so cool, too. Look at the Punisher pumpkin. There he is. There's just like a Batman way back there. There's a, there's I a mean, skeleton there's, hand. It's just, there's 
have Ghostbusters. Do you see Ghostbusters? Oh yeah, in blue right there? Yeah. There's just a sea of these. Like iconic, like there's so many. It's sad Love that some it. get lost that you're not even You don't realize, you have to like there. sit and, and yeah. watch for a while. It's just, it runs so deep. And now for the first time this year featured, it's the SpongeBob SquarePants display. This is literally Bikini Bottom. It is. They even did a Krusty Krab. Oh yeah. It's incredible. There's the SpongeBob logo and of course the network back there, Nickelodeon in pumpkins as well. And then another angle of the sea of pumpkins that we saw just before SpongeBob. I mean, it's just impressive. This might be the most impressive thing to me. It's just this yard right here. All right, we're approaching a very scary tunnel. Lots of cobwebs over here, just engulfing this building. And we're gonna we're gonna walk through it for some reason. Not sure why, but we're going to. I think I found the culprit, the creator of this insane spider web we're walking through. Yeah, Ooh. through the spooky it's tunnel. It's super foggy. Ooh. And there's spider webs all over the place. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. We are entering a snow covered nightmare. Snowflakes projected on the ground. There's snow. Look at, they're actually putting snow. It's snowing in Malibu snow Canyon. Way. Snow way. Evil Christmas jack o' lantern. He's even got hands. There's a whole bunch of snowmen down here. Probably one of the dragons from Game of Thrones. Is that what that is? The White Walker dragon. Wow, that's cool. Aww. Interesting lighting on him. I love the snowflakes up in the trees. Oh yeah, there's like the snowflakes cut out of those jack-o'-lanterns flickering up there. All right, look at this dragon running the length of this field. Diving in and out. Yeah, coming out from underground. And the sea serpent dragon. Maybe. Yeah. Final scene. Yeah. I have to say those are my favorite kind of looks in this whole thing is these little mass arrays of the colorful jack-o'-lanterns just on the ground. As awesome as everything else is that for some reason I like this element the most. Okay, well that wraps it up. Knights of the Jack was very cool. Absolutely I, I, uh, fantastic. Cooler than I thought, uh, more impressive than I expected. I knew I there was going to be say, a, a lot of yeah. pumpkins, but it was... It was, and I have to say, so for some of it, it doesn't exactly, I hope it read on camera how awesome it was. I think it does. seeing it in person absolutely blew my mind. Like, yeah. It was fantastic, and honestly, yeah. if you were taking the value, the ticket value for adults is like about $27, 22 yeah. for kids, and parking was anywhere from like seven to $11, depending on yeah. ballet or not. So worth the price. Yeah, they've got it managed really well. They've oh, got yeah. uh, food trucks and lots of things to do. and Super family uh, friendly. Yeah, and it's, um, what, that was like a mile long trail. That yeah. was like extensive and a lot to look at. The property here is worth looking at anyways. This is an old estate, you guys, and it's just neat to be able to access it and, and just come out into these hills out here and experience it. It's a perfect place for this type of event. I think this is now gonna be an annual tradition for us as long as so. they keep it up. Um, I am blown away. I would actually come back to this 10 yeah. out of 10, would come back again, and Absolutely. I'm not just saying that. Definitely come and check this out, you guys, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel when you do. Turn on your bell notifications, that way you know every time we go live and when we upload. And if you wanna support our channel, you can become a Patreon member. We'll put all the information in the description box below. We will, and we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody!